Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Defying Fitness video. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Garrett and this is the start of preparing for our senior season. Um, just in case you don't know, I play basketball and lacrosse, so this is gonna be movements, kind of just focusing on stuff like that. Plus like my tips and tricks that I do as you'll hear me like as I edit this, like in the background doing stuff. Um, but yeah, right now we got a push workout. It is actually Christmas Eve, so we're looking to push some heavy weight because tomorrow's rest day. Yeah, I haven't had a lot of food, but I just took some pre-workout, so it's gonna be a great, great, great lift. Um, if you guys are excited, smash that like button. Just a quick note, we are on the road to 100 subscribers. Um, right now, I think we're like at like 80 or something like that, I don't know. But if you guys are new here and you love fitness content and you wanna see me go through my journey as from starting from a kind of heavier kid to a really fit kid, make sure that you guys subscribe and follow along for more content. Um, if you guys have any video ideas, go ahead and hit me up down below, but we're going to get right into this. And just like that, guys, we are back in the dungeon basement today. I didn't really feel like going to the gym. Today, what you're going to see is you're going to see me bench. I'm looking for a heavier weight. I'm probably going to do a heavy set of two and then do some, some like, a, like a three by five or something like that. Um, we're going to do some a lot of dumbbell work, a lot of lateral raises, some shoulder, uh, some dumbbell shoulder press, incline bench, chest flies and some tricep work, but this is mostly just a chest and shoulders thing. More of a chest and shoulder workout. We're looking forward to it. Um, so if you guys are ready, make sure to sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, what's up guys? As you see here, we're doing some flat barbell bench press. This is a great exercise that works just multiple muscles as it is a compound movement. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, compound movements are uh, movements that incorporate more than two muscles, so... Um, yeah, they're pretty, pretty basic, pretty simple movements. Um, barbell squat, deadlift, um, even some some variations of a lat pull down. Um, right here, as you just saw, I did 45, 95. We got 135 here. Um, I remember this just felt pretty heavy, um, which unfortunately, which didn't really give me a great mindset, as you'll see on later in the video. Um, kind of mentally, I just wasn't there. We got 185 on the bar, moving for a quick set of, I think, eight. So eight or seven, I don't know. I've been trying to get this up to 10 as fast as I can, um, but sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. Um, notice here on my left side, I'm getting kind of unstable. Um, I definitely, I re in reality, bench press, it's as you come down to a halfway point, that's whenever it, your, te your chest takes over, and then whenever you come up, um, it's all of a tricep movement. Right here, we got two, 25 on the bar. You see, I get it clean for a rep. Watch that left side. We have my beautiful dad in the background. Thanks for spotting me, dad. Um, honestly, there I think he did come a little early. We ended up just dude. We ended up just trying it out later, and it did uh, go up. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it for two, um, but I still need that little assistance. But that's okay. We got our working sets here of 205 for three sets of four. Um, it's reality. I think it's just my left side. As you see here, my right side's all good. My left side's always a little slow to come up, so it's definitely a little bit of strain. Um, but I absolutely love uh, barbell bench press. It just makes my, I really feel it in my delts and in my chest sometimes, especially if I'm squeezing at the right points. Um, so right here, as we get an, another set of 205 in, the first three reps always move pretty easily. It's that fourth rep and the end of the third. It's just always a little more difficult. Um, that's why, right. once again, barbell is just a good compound lift, compound movement, and you definitely should add it into your exercises. Um, right here we have incline bench press, um, incline barbell bench press. This is good for your upper part of your chest, while flat bench it works the medial and lower part of your chest. Um, it's just good to incorporate the overall chest movement here. Um, typically, I will always do this as my second exercise, um, and then I'll move on to some dumbbell work, but I absolutely love this. If you can, if you don't have a spotter, I, re I would recommend using a Smith machine, um, just because it's safer and you don't have to worry about that weight falling on you. Um, 135 on the bar right now, moving pretty solid. Um, I don't understand. Sometimes I'll be able to hit this for two or three, uh, or sorry, for about 10 reps or so, and the other time I'll end up basically hitting it from like three to six. So it's just a really good grind. It's still that left side, so I definitely have to work on that. Um, right now we have dumb or barbell uh, overhead press. This is really good. Um, it's seated, of course, because if I stand up, I'll be hitting the ceiling. Um, this is definitely a compound movement that I definitely want to work more. It works your front delts, lateral delts, rear delts, uh, your upper pecs, and even your core as you use it to stabilize. 
Um, only have on 85 pounds. Um, I can go up to probably about 115 for a couple, but in reality, we're just focused on hypertrophy. Um, right now, we have incline dumbbell bench press with uh, dumbbells. This is, this is, I love this movement. Um, it's great. In the next video or in the next clip, you'll see I have two what looks to be unequal dumbbells, but they actually equal each other. They're like the same amount. Um, but yeah, and then. I absolutely love this movement. It really kind of kills your upper uh, upper pecs and then also your um, your front delts as well. Here we got 50. Is this right around like 52 or 55 um, pounds? I got 50 on it, but then whatever that bar weighs, it's probably like two and a half. So um, we're gonna call it 52 and a half pounds. Hit it for a set of 12. Um, I just absolutely love the movement. Uh, it feels good. Here we have the staple of all chest exercises: the chest fly these are absolutely a must-have in your chest day or in your push workout if you don't have them as they just kind of they fill out your chest you know they create that inner part the inner mixture um that gives you just an overall well-rounded tech um zero i started off with some iset some eccentric movements uh, which the, with the slow go back and then as you um as it starts to burn more that's when we just kind of continue on um, right here we have incline chest press, um, also targets your upper chest and also your front delts is more. Um, like I said before in the video, this is more of a chest delt workout. Um, I think I only did like two exercises of triceps. Um, I really don't like to incorporate them a whole lot as they're just kind of stabilizers. Um, and then right here we have the uh, lateral raises. These are always important to kind of make sure that you're looking big um, they say that you if you grow your shoulders you actually appear to look bigger just due to your shoulders being like capped off you know everyone's everyone wants to have bolder shoulders so this is definitely an important part of the workout for most people at least um, especially for myself and then right here finishing off we have underhand and lateral um, tricep extensions um, at the gym I love to do this with the, the ropes but unfortunately I don't have it at my house um, so I'm lucky enough to even have a cable machine and a, and a bench and dumbbells uh, so I'm very fortunate in that aspect but um, here you just kind of do them till you feel burn um, then you switch up do lateral um, and just contract it as much as you can uh, making sure that you still have good form that you're focusing on it as well um, it's all important whenever you're working out just to keep your form good um, and enjoy the rest of the video All right, what is going on guys? Some time has elapsed, obviously, as you see me in different clothing. Um, I ate some food, um, as it's Christmas Eve. Um, ate some food, hung out with my family for a bit. Right now, I'm just kind of gonna go over some things that I initially thought like earlier today about what I should have done before I started working out, on um, different plans and kind of stuff like that. So I guess the first initial thing that you could do before I start working out is really making sure that you set your goals high. Um, I know for myself, at least, I set my goals pretty high. Um, I want, definitely want to kind of take this into something. I know I want to get sponsored by a brand or company. Um, I've already had a couple come and approach me, but they're not looking like, I want to get sponsored by like a big brand um, and one that I can trust. I want to get some clothing and stuff like that. Obviously, right now we're in Gymshark, but uh, I want to be like featured as a Gymshark athlete or something like that. So definitely kind of making sure that your goals are high. Second thing I wish I knew is I wish I knew that your protein intake and your carbon intake is super important, just with kind of everything, um, especially with growth, um, as those two things are really good factors into how you like grow muscle more, especially protein. Um, third thing I wish I knew is that I need more water. They say whenever you cut weight or whenever you're gaining weight, that basically you should be drinking a gallon of water a day. Um, this is really important just because it helps out. With this next thing I'm saying about and this creatine, I actually have some right here. Um, creatine, what it does basically is it takes the water in your body and it kind of forces it into the muscles as like muscles are like, I think it's like 70% water or something like that. Um, and so that's how you get that pump looking feeling as blood, as the uh, your, your muscles dilate and the blood vessels open up more. Um, so that definitely helps with nutrients. Um, another thing is vitamins, making sure I'm taking the right vitamins or that I'm getting enough vitamin D, C, A, B, B12, B6, all that fun stuff. Um, and most of those you can just get in a daily multivitamin. Um, the next thing that de is definitely important is sleep, making sure that you're getting enough sleep. Um, right now, that's something that I've actually been trying to do. I've been trying to get off the video games more late at night. 
um, taking some downtime and going to sleep earlier, um, just kind of that whole sort of thing, uh, making sure that um, you know, mentally you're strong as you, as we want to be physically strong and just making sure that we're mentally strong as well. Well, that's just kind of a whole another factor within the entire equation. Uh, you know, if you go into something with a bad attitude or, um, even like a poor attitude, you're not going to perform well. And that's always important. Just kind of keep everything going for you and, uh, just stay positive all the time. Um, and I think the last thing that I can think about right now is just making sure that you're consistent. Being consistent is, has been one of the hardest things for me this year as I, as I got a concussion early on this year, um, right in the middle of the summer, right, right as I came out of a uh, cut um, and I was playing lacrosse and on the way home from a tournament, a piece of metal just kind of came through the windshield and boom, all of a sudden I knew that my the rest of my uh, lacrosse season for a uh, travel team for, it was over. I didn't have the chance to play fall. I couldn't play the rest of my summer. Uh, so that was definitely a big blow for me, but also I couldn't lift weights either because I needed my brain to recover. Um, that's something huge that I'm still dealing with. I still deal with symptoms and stuff like that now. Um, so just making sure that um, you're consistent, whether it's going to the gym six days a week, five days a week, four days a week, making sure that your diet is consistent too. That's another huge factor of the entire equation. Um, yeah, but that's basically it, guys. I just kind of want to take this uh, little check with you all. I want to, I think my next video is definitely going to be a banger. So if you guys are new, like I said earlier in the video, make sure that you subscribe for some more dope content. I'm really excited about my future videos. I have them all planned out, and it's really awesome. Um, let me know down below if what your biggest challenge is. For me, it's being consistent. For you, it could be something totally else. Let me down, know down below, and together we're going to smash your 2021 and just get ripped as well. Um, if you guys have any comments or any suggestions, please leave them down below. Um, remember, just all my social links are down below towards the end of the workout. Uh, I wasn't able to film at all towards the end of the workout. I hopped on Instagram, did a live video um, to finish off my workout. So if you guys want to see some dope content like that, make sure that you hit up my socials down below, especially my IG, um, as I do a lot of posting on there. Um, yeah, guys, that's basically it. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching and peace out.